Well, Swiss police arrested seven FIFA officials early on Wednesday morning as Swiss and U.S. authorities unveiled separate sweeping probes of alleged corruption spanning more than two decades at the world's top governing body of football. Some of the names include Jack Warner, who allegedly took bribes of $10 million for the bid of the 2010 World Cup held right here in South Africa. Joining me now in studio to chat about this issue a little bit more and in depth is a former president of the South African Football Association, Kirsten Nematandani. Mr. Nematandani, thank you very much for speaking to us here on Game On this evening. Are you surprised that these allegations have come uh, for FIFA and members have been arrested? Thank you very much to you and to your viewers. I must say, uh, look, I think uh, FIFA started with their reforms processes back in 2011, if I remember. Do you think all these allegations are true? Well, look, I think uh, uh, there's no smoke without fire. Absolutely. And I assume that the investigators probably have something substantive that to talk about. But the truth of it is, yes, this was very important for football uh, because that will give, give football that uh, positive image going forward. Surely for now, it does look like a crisis, but to me, it's part of the reform processes, and I know. The BBC is alleging that Jack Warner was offered uh, $10 million by the South African government uh, to vote for South Africa to host that FIFA World Cup in 2010. What is your comment on that? Look, I think uh, uh, I'm happy that you're mentioning that it's, it's an allegation that's mm. being said, and obviously allegation is bound, is, is expected to be investigated further, and surely uh, what we know is uh, uh, our bid was one of the best bids, as you know, we were only competing with uh, um, um, Morocco at the time, and going back to uh, the 2006 where we were competing with the rest of the world, you know how close we were had it not been because of the Charles Dempsey matter, mm. surely would have gone through uh, again uh, 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 to him, we say, uh, may his soul rest in peace. In your previous statement, you said, where there's smoke, there's fire. Could this be the same case? Look, uh, I think uh, uh, investigation is investigation. I assume my understanding from what I heard in the statement says, uh, the uh, investigating all FIFA bids going back to 1991, and surely it would have been wrong to isolate certain bids and not look into them. And let's give them a chance and of course the truth will come out. Of course, you're still waiting for FIFA to clear your name and the South African Football Association, of course, uh, with those allegations of match fixing before the 2010 World Cup or Bafana Bafana matches. Have you heard anything in this regard? Unfortunately, no. I'm still waiting, waiting anxiously. Of course, uh, this is about my reputation. I only have one name mm -hmm. and that name means everything to me and I'll wait for the time. Uh, have, of course, uh, Jerome Falk came to the country a little while ago and you said that you will be uh, addressing this matter. Do you find that South Africa's name in football has now been tainted by, of course, those match-fixing allegations and now this, possibly the government offering Jack Warner $10 million? Look, I think uh, going back to the uh, match-fixing scandal, uh, which uh, implicates me, I, I believe the truth will come out. That's why I, I'm adamant to say mm. that has to continue because my name has to be clear. Now, um, you spoke about how beautiful the game of football is, what it does for people, but if this has shown anything, football is a dangerous business. With no insinuations, of course, um, were you ever put in a compromising position? Any other South Africans put in a compromising position? I must say uh, I was very fortunate during my time, and uh, of course I had a term of four years, which was exciting. We were hosting the World Cup at the time. Mm -hmm. And everything was going smooth, and uh, we had one of the best World Cup, as you might know. And I do not remember uh, being compromised as mm. a person. Uh, I always uh, believe in walking the, the, the straight route, and that has been my philosophy. And once you walk on a straight route, whoever tries to come around the bend will find you far ahead. Do you think FIFA needs a breath of fresh air, a change in leadership, some young blood? Look, it's a logical thing to happen. There's no way that you'll have the same leadership all the time. Mm. Uh, you know, nature has it. People grow old and they'll go out of the system. And of course, uh, the various federations will have to uh, uh, elect members who they believe will be able to take them forward. The issue here is, do you believe in those that are leading? Mm. 